Believe it or not, we're just six months away from Art Prize. Today we learned there will be some big changes to the competition. Past Grand Prize winners will no longer be allowed to compete. You'll remember last year we had our first ever repeat winners, Stephen and Loveless. Also new this year, there will be a cap of two entries from each venue that can advance to the public vote final 20. So joining us to talk about this a little bit and these changes, our prize director of communications, Todd Herring. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. These are uh, some interesting changes. Sure. So um, we had comments from the Lovelaces earlier in the newscast about this, and they said, hey, this, you know, that's something they want to do. What was the impetus to make that change? Um, it, it, the rule that, that does not not allow a previous grand prize winner to come back to our prize uh, Essentially, we've, we've had the, the issue before we, we bring artists back who have, who have won the grand prize and they are, they're writing the history of this event. Yeah, I mean, they are the ones true. that are putting uh, the marks out there in the rest of the world. And so we, do, we have a conflict that we face where we want to bring them back and celebrate them and treat them as um, honored guests. But at the same time, if they, they want to compete, um, there's sometimes a conflict of interest there. And so we, wanted, we made the rule to say that, to one, elevate their mm -hmm. presence at the event. They're going to be honored alumni. We want to, we're ideating programming right now that will have a Hall of Fame that will bring back works, that will showcase new works from our previous winners. Um, and so we, we had to implement the rule right now before that uh, programming was fully baked because artist, registra artist registration is right around the corner. I so, can't believe that. Yeah. You know, it just happens so fast. Yep. The other thing is the venue finalist. Explain that one to us. You mm -hmm. can only have two entries in the top public 20 from one venue. Yeah, part of our mission as an organization is we want people to challenge the status quo, challenge their own perceptions. Um, and even the thing with, uh, with, with uh, grand prize winners returning, we want people to not necessarily default to an old favorite, even though they're incredible artists and they're doing great work, or default to an old favorite of a venue, per se. We want people to see more of the competition. And so this rule uh, is to say that a venue that's doing an incredible job curating, and we have so many that do amazing work, and they bring so many like great artists that are out there, a lot of times they'll have a handful of artists that will really draw the crowd and when that once that foot tra traffic hits a certain tipping point a lot of other artists in that venue are elevated and so um, what we want to do is basically say limit at that so that there's a minimum of 10 venues in that hmm. finalist round we have uh, a lot of visitors that visit just the just for that finalist round we want them to see more of the exhibition so that right you're saying that that's going to make people go to other places and not necessarily just huddle into one spot right and in that first round a lot of times those finalists are because of that uh you know they're they're, they're defaulting to the the experience they had before um we have a lovely very walkable riverfront um mm -hmm. and so a lot of times there's there's uh, the the foot traffic builds in that way and and we want to get people to see more of the art and see more of the artwork. Yeah. So um, every year you guys come up with some, uh, you know, modifications, some sure. changes. Um, how do you feel about adding rules every year? We, we prefer to add incentives as opposed to rules. Um, we we want to incentivize. We consider ourselves a catalyst and we want people to act towards the, the incentives that we have out there. In this situation, um, a rule made more sense. A rule was more simple and more uh, easy to communicate and understand. And um, and a at the end of the day, we wanted to make sure that uh, uh, more of the exceptional artwork that shows up each year was going to be seen. And so, um, yeah, we decided to, to implement the rule. And, and we like to tweak the, tweak the system every year and see how it will change and grow and, um, and really respond to the feedback that we're getting from our participants. And what may be working, maybe you can take away. I mean, it's, it's free-flowing. You can do whatever you want with it every year. It right? is, yeah. yeah. yeah we've, we've, uh, we're going into our eighth year, and every year we've made... Uh, adjustments and changes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some of them turn out great. Other ones we, you know, look back on and reflect and, and, and change and adapt to. So. And yeah. I have to wrap, but preview week. Quickly. Preview week, yeah. What's that? Uh, for especially for people who are uh, local to West Michigan, uh, if you don't want to avoid the art prize crowds. Um, get out there. Most of the exhibitions are already set up during that time. Oh, yeah. We're also going to be doing programming around the artists who are building their shows uh, in the week uh, leading up to Art Prize. So essentially it's another week of Art Prize, but it's uh, mostly going to be for uh, the people who are here to experience it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Todd Herring, thank you so much for joining us from yeah. Art Prize. Once